Hello there and welcome to Red Gaming Tech for your daily dose of the latest gaming news as of the 20th of June. My name is Amata and I have some more news concerning Microsoft as you probably know by now they completely reversed all of their DRM requirements for the Xbox One just late last night and my partner in crime Crimson Rain has done a quite detailed video on this already. I'll put a link uh, down below or in the video, whichever one, so you guys can go check it out. But they have actually made a further statement regarding this, saying that they are in fact sticking with the requirements that the Kinect has to be plugged in, despite, of course, completely reversing their core DRM policies. And this was made said, sorry, in an interview with IGN which was published just after Microsoft announced his about turn and this was from Chief Product Officer Mark Witten and he had this to say We still believe Connect is a really critical part of the architecture. We think it changes the way you can interact with your experiences, being able to control the box with your voice or with gestures, being able to do Skype. And we want game and interactive entertainment creators to be able to know they can take advantage of it. And we want to be completely consistent for our users. So we are still very committed to know, so to how, sorry, Connect transforms that experience. And meanwhile, he did insist that the decision to drop the Xbox One once every 24 hours internet authentication will not have any impact on the games that make use of its 300,000 server cloud such as Forza 5 and of course Titanfall and I've got some further quotes from Witten here which where he said we still believe in how games and entertainment are transformed by being connected and powered by the cloud and frankly are going to just really innovate against that experience we believe that most people frankly are going to take advantage of the connected state and all that comes with it and frankly it'll be experiences like Titanfall taking unique advantage of the cloud or Forza and driver tiles that people are going to love and they're going to use and to take advantage of those features, you'll clearly have to be connected and online, just as if you were streaming video or playing multiplayer or any other things that require online. But that's up to the game experience and sort of how they use those features. So that's good to know, especially about the cloud. Um, when Crimson posted that video I just mentioned uh, yesterday, we did get a few people asking in the comments section, oh, but what does this mean for the cloud? Does this mean the cloud isn't going to work? Does, what, what effect is it going to have on Titanfall? What effect is it going to have on this? Etc. And it seems like, no, it's not going to have any effect. The cloud still exists. It's still there for the developer to use. And of course, if a game uses the cloud in a, any real respect where it uses it to handle some of the processing or what have you, then of course you will have to be connected to play that game. That, that obviously goes without saying. If it's got cloud integration and the cloud is required, you will have to be connected. But that's not exactly a surprise. I think most people would be willing to accept that if they buy Titanfall, for example that they're going to have to be online for a long period of time in order to play. I don't know exactly how Titanfall's cloud usage is going to work. Perhaps it only loads in from the cloud once every time it loads or if it has to be constantly connected. I'm not actually sure. Um, it could be either one, really. Um, it really depends on how they've done the game. But regardless of the specifics of that kind of thing, they are still going to make use of the server cloud, despite the fact that the Xbox One does not require a check every 24 hours. So while I'm so, so happy and relieved that they've gone back on all this silliness, it's also nice to know that that's going to be happening with the cloud. What's not so nice to know is that they're still sticking with this Connect thing, because they can say what they like about the price we all know that the reason the Xbox One is a hundred dollars and a hundred euros and a hundred pounds more expensive than the PS4 is because the Kinect comes with the device. The Kinect is an expensive piece of kit. Let's face it, especially since they've improved it and it seems like they have made significant improvements over the original, which is great, don't get me wrong. But that is an expensive piece of kit. They've obviously spent a lot of money getting that working and getting it integrated with the console, especially with the whole voice command thing. And bundling that with each and every console is obviously going to jack the price up. On this channel, we like to remain unbiased, but it's not biased to state the facts. It's a simple case of the PS4 does not force you to have the eye, so it's cheaper. 
the Xbox One needs to connect, so it's more expensive because the connect costs money. If you want to buy the PSI, you can, and you can make use of it. Cool, great. But of course, the Kinect, unfortunately, is still required. Which is a bit of a shame, but I don't think any of us expected them to get rid of that as well. I mean, maybe someone hoped for it, and I'm sure many people were hoping that they would get rid of it, or that they'd never added it to begin with. But unfortunately, I feel the integration of the Kinect is too deep-seated in the console itself for them to get rid of it. And they obviously do want the Kinect involved in the device. They believe that it is truly a necessary part of the console that it is necessary for innovation and it might be you know we don't actually know what games are come out going to come out because of the connect for all we know there could be some developer who comes out and comes up with this really great game for the xbox one that makes great use of the connect it's possible we just don't know because obviously no one knows exactly how much has actually been improved we've seen and we've been told but that's not quite the same as testing it out yourself with specific movements and so on. Anyway, this has all gone down into speculation now, um, but we do love a bit of speculation here, and I'd like to see yours in the comments section, and what your thoughts are on this, and if you're still going to be sticking with PS4, or if you're always going to Xbox One, or what have you. I'd like to be, know how many people are actually going to change their minds because of everything that's gone on in the last few days, basically. Anyway, as I said, that's me done. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.